How you Cassandraing now? That woman's been asking you for your help for the last 10 minutes. Sir, I don't know what they did to you because most black people would have been long gone by then. They would have been like, <laughs> future smoocher. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Fallout. We are now on to episode seven, which is called The Radio. So the last episode, we we had a lot. <laughs> we had uh, Lucy and Maximus inside of Vault 4. They thought they had been saved. They thought maybe things were good, but then we saw an interesting twist of events where going into the vault, we saw that Maximus was very suspicious of Vault and Vault life and everything to do with it. Whereas Lucy was like, oh, everything's great. It's fine. And then as time progressed and Lucy started to see more and more things that weren't adding up based on what she knew in vault life, she started to go to the other side of things and be like, no, wait a minute, something's not quite right with this vault. And then eventually she saw that a whole cult was in this vault that was dedicated to mom. What was her name? Molda Moldaver, I think is her name is. But yes, anyways, the, the girl that she's after, they're all worshiping her and they're kind of crazy. And she's like, nope, this is not, this vault is not it. We need to get out. But unfortunately, in the meantime, we see that Maximus for the first time in his life has recognized that there's places that have clean water and hot water and, and good food and that he can, for the first time in his life, just chill and relax and not have to be looking over his shoulder and scared. And so he's been seduced by the perceived safety that he's going to be getting in this place, even though he doesn't realize that he's a test subject, which we learned last episode that everybody in this vault is a test subject. And one of the other reasons we know this outside of the big signage that we were given is that we got some flashbacks to the ghoul's past, AKA Cooper. We discovered that his wife was really in deep with vault and that she's the one who basically got him to be the sports person and really involved in it. And as time went on, we see that he got very disillusioned with vault that a lot of Hollywood and his coworkers were really looking at and side-eyeing vault and what they were up to. And basically, they let him know that vault was creating a situation where the U.S. government was going to be indebted to them financially, but also that the only way that they would continue to be profitable is if there was a reason to keep creating these huge nuclear fallout shelters. We basically, as an audience, have inferred that vault must have somehow been involved in what eventually became this nuclear situation that is happening in the States. Yeah, a lot of things here that are leading us once again, getting our trio to have to come back together because we still have our duo that's in the vault that needs to get out and get back to Moldova and maybe this cult leader is the way to get to it. And then of course now the ghoul has a reason to go after Moldova himself as well. Lots of stuff to look forward to going into this episode. So let's get into it. But just before I do a reminder that if you'd like to be notified of when I do uploads to this show or anything else, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you can be part of the know. All right, that out of the way guys, let's get into the episode right now. Are you brotherhood people? Ah, oh, father and son. Sandra, go home. Oh, it's a family. Uh oh, did you leave the door open? Man, just all up here eating your food. Sandra, please tell me he's not eating, Sandra. Oh wait, you thought? I mean, wouldn't put it past you. Sandra, wait outside. She might be safer indoors, to be fair. Or did I hear you had three kids? Uh-oh. We took up with that mad woman in the hills two years ago. We haven't heard from him since. Hmm. Really? Is that a letter from him? What did you say the name of your eldest was? I'd advise not lying. I didn't say. That must make you Tommy. Mm hmm What is that envelope? Well, you see, Daddy-O, mm -hmm. now, from what I can tell... <clears throat> Uh-oh. By the time I got this letter off your brother, it was a little bit hard to read. Oh, sorry. Now, you give me that location, and I'll be on my way. I don't think he's joking. I'm gonna build something, and we have the chance... Tell him what he wants to know, or else he's gonna kill us all! Including your little sister. You willing to sacrifice her for the cause? If it's a cult, probably. She's at the observatory. Now, please leave us. Didn't you tell the truth? Am I really walking out of here today or are you gonna try and draw on me for what I did to your big brother? Hmm. Maybe not today, but maybe 
you someday. That's not for you to decide, is it? Wow, you really are the worst. I kind of need Coop to not survive this. I know he's got his reasons, but he is too far gone. His humanity clearly died a long time ago. And you didn't have to kill him. You could have taken a leg. We were told America's always getting better. It's always moving toward a better future. For who was the question? These soldiers that were fighting abroad, their families, we have more in common with them than we do with the people here in power, the real enemy. That's about all the worst that I can do. Speak in truth. And those principles of yours, how much did vault Tech pay to take them off your hands? Oop, and I oop. Everybody has a sponsor, and uh, I'm not ashamed to earn a living. vault Tech is the largest company in America. <laughs> the ping pong feds. Sorry, this was a mistake. We'll be leaving. Oh no, I'm, I'm quite glad you brought Mr. Howard yeah, today. Yeah, you believe in ideal, you should, you're okay with being challenged. That I know your wife. And perhaps a side of her you don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't chuckle if I were you, sir. You didn't even know how deep she was in this organization. My research company was acquired by her division. So what are you, a millionaire communist? Hypocrisy is Sounds like my... so dumb. Vault Tech bought the means to end that war. The same war you fought in. So they could put it on the shelf? All because it didn't fit into their business model. I want your... It's a listening device. A listening device? You... Spy on your wife, please. You want me to spy on my wife? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this would break up a marriage for sure. But the fact that you're still standing here says that you have questions. You keep it. It's a token. Yep, because the fact that you didn't I'm immediately freak Mr. out. Howard. That's just a dirty word they use to describe people who aren't insane. Boop. Yep, they do love to throw those terms around to other people when, like she said, you have more in common with them than not. Throw it away, John, if it's... Or throw it away, Coop. Throw it away. Throw it away if it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, I'm sad. I'm just sad because it seemed like they were so happy back in, what was that, episode three? You're experimenting on them. It's, it's sick. She needs to see the holotape. <sighs> All right. Play the tape. Propaganda incoming. And, 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 and hybridizing humans with radioactive resistance species still has potential. Hmm. So that's what's happening. How are you Cassandra now? That woman's been asking you for your help for the last 10 minutes. So I don't know what they did to you because most black people would have been long gone by then. They would have been like <laughs> future smoocher. So what is this proven? Why are you still experimenting on people? That doesn't explain anything other than the fact that y'all are weird. But it's a stirring reminder of what this place is all Torturing about. Torturing people because of gulpers? His ancestors were used as lab rats by the original residents of Vault 4 until the lab rats rebelled. The uh, creature in the video was actually my great uncle Peter on my mom's side. You sure? What was the experiment in 33? Well, well yeah, so we were the experiment. Please, I'm a good person. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's on his 18th bowl of popcorn. Let's see what you made of, Maximus. Made of mud. A poor man is made out of muscle and blood. Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can go. Oh, my soul to the company store. Yeah, that's infected. Don't take it all. I don't want to. Uh. Oh, shit. I want to fucking die. Yup. That's gangrene. You're a loose cannon, all right? This is no, leave the puppy alone! You'll hey. starve! Anyways, I never liked you to begin with, but I hope you die. You can breathe in there, right? But how is he gonna eat and drink? Not to mention being surrounded by his own feces and, and waste is gonna make him sick. Oh, she's already lost a finger. Now what do we lose? You are hereby sentenced to death <laughs> by banishment to the surface. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> so slow. Okay, there's got to be a faster way. You need to get that sharpened, please. Just pull it. Yeah. Oh. 
don't ask questions. Y'all keep your little cult. I'm keeping my shirt on and leaving. You'll be killed almost immediately on the surface by Lord knows what. That's why we're giving you two weeks of supplies to take with you. Thank you. Can I just ask you one thing? Obviously, someone will carry the supplies to the surface. Hmm? Can he stay? Yeah. He's chosen to leave, but that was very sweet of you. Good for you, Maximus. I know that was tempting as hell, but these people are weird and they definitely would have done some freaky stuff to you. More than just make it pop, if you know what I'm saying. Not the fake, oh, not the popcorn. That's just wasteful. Titus, okay, that's enough. Can you see that Lucy's there? They're letting me go. Huh. Really? Yeah. Awkward. Oops. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just back out slowly. Somebody maybe check on him? <laughs> I'm thinking they're taking back the supplies. We stole their fusion core. Yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah. Well, without their fusion core, their auxiliary power will only last a few days and... They're all gonna die. Well, you can't be a knight by stealing from people either. Mm, yeah, I can dilemma. help people with this armor. By letting all those people die? If my dad found out that I destroyed an entire exactly. community. Can I live with myself? That'd break his heart. So sad that I feel like you're going to find out things about your dad that are going to make you very, very sad, Lucy. I know, bro. You're going to get yours back, I promise. Besides, I think that suit's going to be more trouble than not for you. You're doing the right thing, Maximus, even though those people are freaking weirdos. She gonna make a pop for you, don't you worry. It's the kind of stuff the ladies like. Thank you! <laughs> Aw, and you never know. You might, you might need them later on. These people might help you. I can honestly say you are the best stranger that I've ever met. And he's lying to you. When all of this is over, you could come and live with us in Vault 33. Prompt to tell the truth yet? There's something I should tell you. Just say yes. My name isn't Titus, it's Maximus. There we go. See, doesn't that feel better? He was threatening me, so instead of helping him, I watched him die. And I took his armor. And I lied to you. But you're telling the truth now. A bad person would have kept up the lies. Or waited till you made it pop. I just threw acid in an innocent man's face. And I've only been up here two weeks. <laughs> Do you want to come live with me in my vault? He would follow you into hell right now, sis. Look, if y'all are going to do something, do it here where it's safe. I'd encourage you to sit back and enjoy the folksy, gutsy sound of bygone footlicks. And Yeah, bro. You are so going to die of gangrene. Oh, isn't this the chicken lover? Welcome to my humble pharmacy. Have a seat, my dear boy. And let's I'm really not even sad about you getting swindled by this guy. He's probably going to eat you because I think he's a cannibal, right? As well as a chicken lover. I've seen this condition before. Someone stepped on my foot. Right? Yes. What stopped me from just killing you, taking your whole thing of drugs? Well, you don't know what you're taking. A brackish hint of shamrock, and that's the sound of your lower intestine falling right the fuck out. <laughs> Take your chances. Fusion core, if you do want to survive, not a bad trade. You're getting swindled, but you deserve it, because you're going to die regardless. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, thank you. Sure thing, buddy boy. Oh. Yeah, you just got high. This is radioactive as hell. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you, buddy boy? Ow. Yeah, I think he just gave you a drug and you're just high as hell. And once that wears off, you're going to still be in pain and have a jacked up foot and down a fusion reaction core. Damn, y'all don't have solitaire on the computer? That sucks. What's going on? 
Food poisoning? What happened? They killed off the prisoner so they couldn't talk. The medic says it looks like rat poison. Mm. Words have meaning. You know what you have to do, Norman. Let me guess, you're no longer there? Oh, you're staying, okay. Why is this man suddenly like the dad for this child? I'm so confused. All this just so we can get some cooter? So she's not, she wants to keep an eye on you. That's why you're staying. Don't be too long. I'm holding the baby, so you have to pack everything. We'll miss you, Norm. Like, how did he get into this? You're not even the baby's daddy. Oh. Steph and I were given a starter home unit. Just the three of us. Oh. When did this, okay. You're a coward. He is, but you knew you that. Know that That's exactly why Lucy can never be with you. We all are, Norm. That's why we live in a vault. Woo! That is some tea, though. Some of us choose to bury our heads in the sand, friend. Take that blue pill. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna find the puppy. Let the puppy out, please. Please let out the puppy. Please don't lick it or something. Wait, you have no nose. Ugh. <laughs> Revolting. But also the puppy will lead you right to the head. Need some food and water. So mean. Well, that's the way it works. Interesting. What is your dog trying to tell you? Warning you that your marriage is about to end by doing this? Seed's been planted, sir. You might as well follow through now. Well, I may be a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. It's so interesting, the mix of tech that they use in this show. Like, the fact that these TVs are very much like old school CRC TVs, yet he has a listening device that can sync up wirelessly. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, dog meat, but you ain't him. He's like, just love me. Okay, yeah. I was going to say they're quite a bit behind the other guy, but I forgot they were in the vault for at least two days. You can't get that warm sound anymore. You know, the bass, the treble. That's what I thought it was, okay. Oh, that, right, yeah. Oh, here. Oh, that, okay, yeah. The way he's like, I'm pretending to know what you're talking about, but I really have no idea. I think we've all been there. Great job on these booby traps, by the way. Really good. Yeah, thanks. He did say he does not like visitors. He wasn't joking. Oh, shit. Guess not. Okay. That was smart. Okay, Stormtrooper Aim. I'm the person who got it off. Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of bound to happen, Tad. Uh, oh. Mm. <gasps> I wouldn't pull it. Why am I not dead? I hate you in a really good spot. No, I would advise against I, that. I, I wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not just going to leave it you there. You should, because it's keeping the bleeding. Uh, uh, oh, it's whatever he gave him in the vial. He's a ghoul. I, I think you might be a ghoul. Oh, no. Oh, so stupid. I should have never trusted a doctor that smelled like that. There's your ride. You might want to run. They'll kill me if they find out. What? Th this is good, no? The Brotherhood is the good guys? Uh, you didn't say. Complicated right, little nuances. What are you doing? <sighs> Giving them the wrong head. On your dad. Go home. That's what I want. Look at you actually doing something smart. Look at you. Careful now. We don't want any popping going off right now. Look at him. He's like, oh, <laughs> best seat in the house. Ew. And the moment's lost. We don't have time for this. Look at him. He's like, mm, y'all want to come in? Or 
I feel like they're gonna blow this whole place up. Vault 33, find me. I will. Look at the mean mug. He's ready. Sir, don't. Why are you walking so sure footed in a place full of booby traps? I'm not going. I'm, I'm, um, excuse me. Uh, I, don't, I don't live there. I live. I live there. Sorry. Sorry. That was weird. Um, sorry. I'm fine. And we are proud to announce as interim overseer of Vault 32, Stephanie Harper. Mm -hmm. Another one from 31. We're never seeing any of you again. Bye bye now. The last goodbye. Sorry, Chet. You were a weirdo and a coward. Now that is the way you turned on a computer back in the day, kids. I know. There was a time there was no mouse. There's a switch in the back. I know who you are. I know what you did. And I'm coming. Type faster, what do you mean, hello? Mm-hmm. Maybe you should have said things. Hmm. Get out of there, quickly! I think they know it's not Betty, though. You didn't go this long with just having casual small talk. There was definitely code words. Maybe not. I mean, it's been a few hundred years, but I feel like they know it's not Betty. She's going to be trying. They're going to try to recruit him, I bet. Since you were smart enough to hack our systems and figure us out, work with us. If it's Betty back there, I'll scream. Oh, no one's there. Away to the danger zone. Imagine he's just cut down a hail of bullets right here. No going back now. In more ways than one. Unless there's literally no one here either. Steal yourself, lad. Okay, they said you have to wait till next episode. All right, guys. Well, that was an interesting episode. Things are definitely starting to speed up a little bit. We only have one episode left, but I did hear that this show is renewed for season two. So I'm getting the sense that we're not going to wrap up too much in this season. My guess, like I think I said a couple episodes ago, is that we're going to get a cliffy, but I still feel like somehow Lucy's going to interface either with her mom or her, or her dad. I feel like we've, they've dropped too much about that for nothing to come of that. But anyway, two things we got out of this episode. We see that thankfully Lucy and Maximus got out of the vault. Um, we see <laughs> that they are, at least are not hyper violent. I thought maybe they would do more to Lucy, but they said that basically what happened is that for its intended purpose is what we learned about a few episodes ago, which was to experiment on people. And that it looks like since Moldova's followers have overtaken it, they now rescue the descendants of those test subjects, the ones that survived. And now that's what they're, they're living there. They're the ones who've taken over and are living vault lifestyle the way that they choose. It also explains why they look at Moldova as some sort of a God, because she probably came in there and actually freed all those te test subjects. So apparently the ones that she saw in the videos and the ones that were in there or people who have been there for some time, and I guess they're either not able to help them or they're just monitoring them. It's hard to say but I feel like that they're telling the truth. I, I don't think that they're actually using people or bringing in new test subjects. I think everyone who was in there already was a test subject and we see that, right? The one eye, the nose over here, the ear on the, in the back of the head, clearly things have gone wrong there. So it looks like from the sounds of things, the gulpers and the monsters that we're seeing outside in the world were created by vault -Tec as well. So great news, great company. But yeah, so they did uh, manage to get out and we see that even though my boy could have gotten his suit back, Maximus, he decided to give the core back, the fusion core back because it's literally fueling the entire the entire vault, like she said, the backup power only lasts for so long and then they'll be without, like they need it for everything, obviously. I'm sure that everything as far as their air, their heat, their 
the water purification, all of it is probably run through that power. So she's like, yeah, that power source is literally life or death for them. So you gotta give it back or they're all gonna die. And so I really like the, the moral question that came up there. Cause he was like, oh, this too, that can help so many people. And she's like, yeah, but you're also gonna let all those people die. So is that, is that good? Like, does that really, are you really a hero if you're gonna let other people die for, for this? Like a, a core that wasn't yours to begin with. So yeah, I really like that she helped frame that up for him. And he ended up giving it back, even though he didn't really want to. And then, she, of course, she brings out the fact that Maximus is a good person. And that prompts him to tell the truth, finally, that he's not Knight Titus and tell his real name. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of lies, it wasn't the worst thing ever he could have lied to her about. But still, I like that she said, you know what, I get it. You know, she's starting to understand now. I feel like Lucy of two weeks ago would have been far more upset with his lies. But now she's like... I've been up here now. I realize that people are, are willing to do and have to do to survive. So I'm not going to judge you on this one. The fact that you came clean shows that you actually are a good person and that you want to be better. So yeah, you know, they, they've got their little thing going on. And um, like I said, I think they're, they're definitely going to get to their little romance when they have time for it, obviously. But she said to him that, you know, she's invited him to come live at Vault 33 when it's all said and done, like she has any authority to, to do that. But anyways, bless her heart. She's hoping she can bring him back and give him that comfortable life that he was this close to having in the vault. But it looks like he probably would have been okay, actually, as long as he didn't try to stop them from their weird cultish behavior. I think they would have just let him stay there indefinitely. So anyways, uh, so they're on their way. They ended up following our guy, Thaddeus. We saw Thaddeus as well. We followed him for a bit. His foot is all the way jacked up, as we saw. Absolutely disgusting. And as I said, like if he didn't get it treated or something done, it was gonna gangrene. There was no doubt about that. And he realized that if he didn't get immediate medical attention, that's what, what was gonna happen. So he managed to get to a radio station because he knew that that would give him the signal that he needed to radio back to the, the Brotherhood and get them to pick him up. Of course, he's still trying to save himself at this point, but you know, the, the leg is getting too bad. And he meets up with that weird chicken lover that we met way back in episode two, I think it was, or three. And anyways, he basically wants anything. Like you see, he's literally about to take his life because I guess he was out of money and out of options. But he saw a victim and he pounced and he scammed our guy. I mean, maybe it wasn't really a scam because he did actually fix his problem. Like I thought maybe it was a lie about the fixing, but it wasn't. Um, Cause I thought maybe it was like, maybe he gave him a drug and he was hallucinating that he was better, but it was literally ghoul juice. I guess it's whatever created the ghouls in the first place. So he gave him that and yeah, from now on, basically nothing will ever really kill him from the sounds of things. But we all know that with ghouls, they do have to keep taking whatever that serum is, otherwise they deteriorate. So sorry to Thaddeus in a way, but not really because, you know, he hasn't really changed. <laughs> In my opinion, he really hasn't changed and he wouldn't be in this position if he had tried to work with Maximus instead of double cross him in the end. So, and don't get me wrong. I talked about it in the last few episodes about how Maximus was wrong to lie to him too. But yeah, anyway. So anyhow, he, he got his drugs and he made it to the radio station and we see that that's where Maximus and Lucy caught up with him and he discovered that, yeah, he's now a ghoul. So the Brotherhood is not gonna keep him because no doubt that a, a hyper-religious cult is not gonna feel so great about the undead, which basically is what this guy is now for all intents and purposes. So he's running away because he knows that the Brotherhood sees him. They're probably just gonna take him out. And he gives the head to Maximus and Maximus in turn gives it to Lucy and he, and he uses another head because there happens to be a lot around this radio station. And he's like, I'll give him a head. They don't need to know if it's the right one. He made sure to make it un un unrecognizable, sorry. So, I mean, they will know it's not the right one, obviously, because I think that they know that there's probably other things uh, electronically that are lodged in this man's head. But either way, at this point, Maximus is doing something selfless and he saves Lucy. He's like, you gotta go, take the head and go. I can't go with you. I'll keep these guys busy so you're not pursued and that's the best I can do for you. So Lucy's got the head. She's told Maximus that she'll wait for him at 33 and it looks like Maximus is gonna just go with the Brotherhood because yeah, he's gonna have to. Someone's gotta answer for that call. So we'll see what happens to him. This may not go well for him, but maybe it'll turn out to be just the right thing. We'll have to see. But either way, that's Maximus for now. And then we got some more flashbacks on Cooper. We see that uh, what happened when he met Moldaver all those years ago and saw that she was indeed, like I said before, trying to take down Voltag, trying to get to the heart of you know, the corruption that was in it. And then she asked him to take, and we find out she was also a very smart engineer, that she was one of the people who is a pioneer in cold fusion and other forms of nuclear energy. So 
yeah, she's super smart. And I have no doubt that she's probably found a way to either preserve herself or clone herself if she's got those kind of brains. She gave Cooper a listening device and she said, I want to spy on your wife because she's got access to places that I don't. And Cooper at first was like, I can't do that. But he's very curious as well. Because I think, as I mentioned last episode, he's noticed that the woman that he married and the woman who he's dealing with now are completely different people. That his wife has become secretive, closed off, a lot of things since she started working for vault -Tec. And he knows something's up, but she's not willing to talk about it. So this is kind of for him, not, not just from old Dave, or he wants to know what's really going on. And I think he wants to get an idea of how he can potentially save his wife and his family from this situation. So... We see that he has, he linked it into her pit boy and uh, he's going to start spying on her. We didn't get to hear anything much at this point, but yeah, he basically made the decision to essentially break the trust in their relationship by spying on her. And that's why like when he looked at the dog and the dog was wheezing at him, it's like, yeah, when he made that decision, he effectively ended the marriage there, sadly. But one could also say that his wife started it by essentially putting up this wall of secrecy between them two. So yeah, it's sad, but we're seeing why they ended up being divorced and why things didn't go out well for the two of them, unfortunately. But again, their daughter there, no accounting, no understanding, no explanation for where she is or what happened to her. But anyhow, so that's what happened with, with Coop. And Coop is now pursuing Noel Daver because obviously he knows her from way back. He has questions like, how are you still here? And he probably has more questions too about what she's planning all these years later and maybe why she didn't do something sooner considering everything that happened. So he's on his way. Uh, as I said in the episode, he took out that young man who was working with Moldaver. I don't think that was the right thing for him to do. Even after everything with Lucy, I was thinking we were gonna see some improvements in Coop's humanity, but it doesn't look like he's quite there yet. And that's why I said, if he doesn't make it out of this series or this season, I don't think I'll be sad because I do think he, the Coop that was any way human, I think died a long time ago, unfortunately. And so maybe this will be better for him so that he doesn't have to continue being this murderous, hateful thing that we learned last episode, can't taste anything and can't feel anything anymore anyway. So anyway, that's where Coop's headed now. He's found the dog and we know that the dog can find that head anywhere. So I feel like next episode, him and Lucy are definitely gonna interface again and we'll have to see if um, they'll work together this time. I feel like they will though, because they've got a mutual objective now in finding Moldaver and not just about the head or the bounty anymore. And then finally, we had back to Vault 33. Things are shuffling around. We see that um, Betty is in uh, hard work to basically cover up everything to do with 32, everything to do with these prisoners. She killed one set of them. My guess is that these are the ones that were resistant to their reprogramming, but also probably any that could give any information. I'm thinking that Betty's been watching uh, Norm quite closely and realized that he must be talking to some of the prisoners and that one prisoner is who led him to go to 32 in the first place, right? So anyway, they accidentally got poisoned. She pinned it on some poor girl in the vault and some people are now being separated. Some 32s are going, or some of the 33s are now going to 32. My guess, of course, is so that it takes the mystery and the ominousness out of the 32 and what happened there, but also because she wants to make sure that anyone who might be a naysayer or question asker is isolated, AKA Norm. So she's really trying to get Norm to just forget everything or to drop it, which is not gonna happen. But I also think she realizes that Norm is not the kind of mind that drops things. But yeah, it's interesting to see these moves that she's making. So we see that at least half of the people are going to 32, including uh, the girl who just had the baby. And I think that's the, where Norm realized that 31 really is the center of all this craziness because right after the attack, she was fully on board with Norm. Like she wanted revenge. She wanted to do crazy stuff. And it's like, as soon as she had the baby, it was like a, a flip switched. And now she's back into her regular, oh, really? You know, her whole like, you know, what's the word? Stepford housewife persona. And now we see she's been put as an overseer in 32 another 31 person taking over another vault, which we already found out a couple episodes ago has been the history of these vaults. So he knows something is up and that 31 is the key to the answers that he's looking for. But he also knows now he can't keep pushing for Betty with Betty because Betty is definitely dropping thinly veiled threats to him around keeping his nose out of everything. But thankfully he's quite smart. We see that he hacked her computer. He managed to send a message off to 31 and he got an invitation to go as her. But as I said, I have a feeling that 31 knows it. it's not Betty, but they're curious to find out who's pushed this far as far as the, the hacking and getting to this level of truth. So yeah, we see that he saw something, but we don't know what it was before they ended it. So I'm curious if it's a robot, it sounded very mechanical. Is it a person? 31 does not seem to have the same amount of people and movement as we've seen in 33 or, or four. So my guess is that it's not a fully manned 
a silo either. There's something else going on there. And I guess we'll find out. And my prediction is that they're gonna try to recruit Norm if they can, because a smart mind like that is a real waste if you can keep it. My guess is they're gonna try to tell him what the program is and see if he's willing to get on board with the program. And then at which time they'll either send him back to 33 or possibly send him elsewhere. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think that Norm's gonna give us the information we need to know from the vault side of things when he gets in there. And then on the surface next episode, probably we're gonna have and Lucy and Maximus finally figure out what Moldaver is and maybe start the conversation there. And then I'm not sure what's gonna happen to Maximus when he goes back to the Brotherhood. As I said, I think the easy answer would be that they would just take him out, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I think that they're gonna end up using him somehow because he knows more than the Brotherhood does at this point about a lot of things. So yeah, we're coming up to an interesting conclusion here. As I said, I don't think we're gonna wrap everything up, but I do think we're gonna get some answers towards um, what's going on with vault how things ended up here, and maybe what exactly Moldaver is up to. Is she still actually trying to take down whoever's still running things? Like, is she still trying to stop all these nuclear events or is there something else going on that we don't know? And how the heck is she still here 200 years later or a version of her still here? Yeah, I've got lots of questions that I'm hoping we get some of the answers to in the final episode. So I'm looking forward to it. So yep, yeah, I enjoyed this a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.